Good morning, good morning, good morning. What a gorgeous day it is in Harndorf today. The sun is shining, the sky is blue, the birds are out, and it is an exciting time to be filled with the love of colour. And today, during Sala Festival, which is the South Australian Living Artist Festival, we decided to visit Beck from, Beck from the paint box in Harndorf. So let's go inside and check it out. Good morning, Beck. Fantastic. Now, can you tell everyone a little bit about the paint box? Well, um, paint box is an art supply store. Uh, what we do at the store is uh, supply all sorts of paints. A lot of them are imported directly, and a lot of our paints you can't buy elsewhere in Australia. But we also specialise in pigments. Yeah. And high up in the shelves, you'll see all sorts of pigments. Now, what are the pigments used for? The pigments are used for making paint. For making paint? For making paint, all sorts of paint. You can't make every sort of paint with every sort of pigment. Some are very expensive, some are worth more than gold. Wow. Some are very cheap. That's why they're on the top shelf. And some are very poisonous. <laughs> oh, so that's why some of them are on the top shelf too. Oh, okay, fantastic. They kind of look like the nail stuff I get when I was done. Yep, they're pure colour. Oh, wow. So, yeah, when you talk about being inspired by colour, that's it. Absolutely. Wow. So, your store supplies art supplies to all sorts of artists, from students? All, all sorts, from students to really senior artists who make their living from their work. Yeah, which is what Sala Festival is all about, isn't it? It's about Absolutely. supporting artists make a living. Right across that range. Yeah. Everyone's got to start somewhere. So, I can imagine leading up to Sala Festival, it was like Christmas in here. Well, yeah, and especially once Sala Festival started, once the festival started, everyone realised that they'd got to get their work finished. Yes. Because artists are artists. Yeah, they leave they, they, everything to the last minute. That's right, it's part of. <laughs> I think that's a human thing, not yeah, just an absolutely. artist thing. Um, so, watercolours as well as oil paints? And acrylics. And acrylics. What is the difference? The difference is the binder. Okay, right. So, so watercolours are bound by gum arabic. Mm -hmm. And oil paints are, are bound by different types of oil. Some okay. of them are poppy seed oil, some of them are linseed. Oh, right, okay. And then acrylic has basically a plastic binder. Okay, great. And you're an oil painter? I'm an oil painter. Okay, what do you love about oil painting? Uh, what is I it love the lusciousness of yes. the colour. Yes. I love the fact that oil can carry such a large particle and therefore it's got a jewel like um, tendency to refract light. And it also smells amazing. Yes, <laughs> I'm a non-toxic oil painter. Oh, okay, right. So, so you don't get high when you're so painting. So I don't get high when I paint. Um, <sighs> and um, I don't use terps. Okay. So part of my job here is teaching people how to stay away from solvents. Okay. Which can be dangerous. Yeah, okay, great, yeah. So tell us a little bit about what's going on here. Oh, right, well, what's going on here? We never know what's going to go on here. These are the tester pads. I've got sheets and sheets of tester pads. Uh, we have lots of anonymous drawings. We're never sure which drawing goes with which artist. Yeah, so they never sign them. They never sign ah. them. So I put them out as another anonymous drawing or tester pad. Fantastic. Isn't that kind of cool? It's like leaving your mark behind when you come into Absolutely. the store. I and love we encourage that. it. Yeah, and this is us experimenting with colour and refraction. Um, all of these sheets are made with only um, five colours of paint. Wow, and get all of that out of it. Kind of looks like you know we work with graphic designers and you know what they have with their Pantone colours yes. and things like that. But this is doing it the the original way. This is doing it the original way. The other really interesting thing to note is that when Pantone test these colours they get very disappointed because they have to say that these some of these colours will cover 17 or 18 Pantone shades. Oh wow. And that's because they refract light in a different way. Oh, and okay. that's, that's the binder and the pigment size. Wow. Now you have artists that come in and work here not just visit but yes. tell us a little bit about that. Well we have guest artists who come in and will paint and use this place. Um, that's always interesting. So it's a studio as well? Yep, we have clinic days. Mm -hmm. What does that entail? Uh, that means that if people get stuck with their art or are feeling isolated. Okay, which can happen a which lot. Which can happen a lot, uh, they'll come in. Yeah. So we have clinic days on Tuesdays. That's fantastic. And what about the want to be artists like myself? Well, everyone starts somewhere. Yeah. 
and we have lots of classes and workshops. Okay. And we put them out on Facebook. Okay, so check out your Facebook page for events coming up. Yes. And like they start with drawing, all sorts drawing, of things. Drawing, watercolour. Watercolour is a great place to start. Mm -hmm. uh, we're also about to put on a round of acrylic classes. Okay, fantastic. That's really fun too. Yeah. And so what would you be saying to somebody out there about, you know, if you've been thinking about it, about giving it a go, what would you say to them? I would say book yourself in for a class. Yeah. Because you'll be with other people who will be like-minded, it will be fun, it will be light-hearted, it will allow you to experiment with the paints. And with our classes, with all the beginners' classes, we supply all of the materials so that people don't have to spend too much money finding out whether they like or love that particular medium. Okay. Because it's a real personality thing. Okay. Great. Now, I've popped in before when you've had a drawing class on, and yes. everyone was having a ball. Yes. They were having a great I'm time. I'm wrong. Uh, we had summer lead in yes. as well. Because <laughs> the wand was flowing. Yes, yes. absolutely. <laughs> we do that quite a lot. Okay, fantastic. And what do you find being in Harnorf? Um, you get people from all over the world buying things, I imagine. We do. Yeah, we do, and we get lots of people uh, coming from interstate on holiday who take a detour up here, and they turn up and they say, oh, we've been following you on Instagram, and so we know about some of the paints that you're selling. Yeah. So what I'm talking about in particular are the Charban paints. Mm -hmm. uh, those coming from France, uh, they're not sold elsewhere, they're sold at the Sydney Art Store. Oh, but you're the they only place in Adelaide uh, yeah. and one of only... They are beautiful, they are absolutely stunning, they've been making them for 170 years. Okay. And that's what the Impressionists were painting with. Oh, right. So if you've been to the Impressionism mm -hmm. exhibition, you've already seen those paints. Wow, that's exciting. That was excellent. So unleash your inner artist. Check out the beginner's classes uh, that the Paint Box have on their Facebook page. Follow them on Instagram if you just love colour and you love art, because you will be inspired, Beck. And uh, uh, invite people. Do you want people to pop in and say good day? Absolutely. And um, maybe... Have a little drawing, yeah. leave a little mark behind. I'm going to leave a little mark behind. What can I draw? Can I draw anything I want? You can draw anything you like. Okay, I'm going to draw a self-portrait. There we go. That's my drawing there. Whee! Okay. <laughs> Maybe there isn't an artist in me after all. <laughs> I draw someone. You never know. Until next week, see you later.